Today we're talking about something exciting, the upcoming Linux kernel 6.14. Before we jump into the details, let's quickly talk about what the Linux kernel actually is. The kernel is the core part of the Linux operating system. It's like the brain that manages communications between your computer's hardware and software. Every time you click a button, type on your keyboard or connect a device, the kernel is working behind the scenes to make sure everything runs smoothly. The Linux kernel gets updated regularly with new features, bug fixes and performance improvements. Right now we're looking at Linux 6.14 which is still in development but already has some awesome new features. If you're using an AMD processor, you'll be happy to hear that Linux 6.14 improves how the system chooses the best core for your tasks. This means better performance and efficiency, especially for high performance computing and gaming. Additionally, there's better energy tracking for AMD CPUs, allowing the system to monitor power consumption more accurately. If you care about power efficiency and battery life, especially on laptops, this is great news. Newer AMD Ryzen processors come with built-in AI hardware called NPUs, short for Neural Processing Units. These are special chips designed to handle AI-related tasks like video processing, machine learning and even improving battery life by offloading certain tasks from the main processor. Linux 6.14 adds support for these NPUs, meaning better compatibility and future optimization for AI-powered applications on Linux. If you're using an AMD GPU, there's some good news for you. The new kernel brings DRM panic support, which means better handling of crashes and error related to graphics drivers. This can help prevent system freezes or black screens when something goes wrong. For Intel users, kernel 6.14 introduces support for the next generation Intel Xeon Clearwater Forest processors. If you use Linux in a professional or enterprise environment, this ensures your system is ready for future Intel hardware. For Raspberry Pi users, brings power management improvements, making suspend and resume to work more efficiently. If you use a Raspberry Pi as a media center, a server or a development board, this means lower power consumptions and better performance. Linux is known for its excellent hardware support and version 6.14 continues that tradition by adding compatibility for more devices. Some of these are SteelSeries Arctic 9 wireless gaming headset. If you're a gamer, you'll now have better support for this headset. Intel Touch Host Controller. This means better touchscreen support for certain Intel-based devices. Dell XPS 9370 Fan Controller. Dell XPS laptop users can now manually control their fans, which can help with cooling and performance. Asus Tough Gaming X670E Plus Motherboard. If you own this motherboard, expect better support for its components. And an official Xbox 360 wireless receiver clone support. If you use an Xbox 360 wireless controller with a third-party receiver, Linux 6.14 now supports it. Networking is another area where 6.14 is making improvements. Some key updates include IPsec support for better security. IPsec is used for security internet traffic and this update improves its performance and reliability. Better IPv6 support. With more networks moving to IPv6, Linux is making sure it stays ahead with better compatibility and stability. More efficient data handling. This means faster and more reliable internet connections, especially for servers and cloud-based applications. One of the most exciting changes in Linux 6.14 is an improvement in how fast your system goes into and comes out of sleep mode. If you've ever noticed your laptop taking too long to wake up, this update could make that process much snappier. Rust is a modern programming language that's known for being safe and efficient. The Linux kernel has been gradually adding support for Rust and in this version continues this trend by using only stable Rust features. This makes the kernel more secure and future-proof, reducing the risk of certain types of bugs and security vulnerabilities. 6.14 improves support for various audio devices including Focusrite Scarlett for Gen interfaces. If you use these audio interfaces for music production, Linux now supports them better and new sound chips like Realtek, All Winner and many more. 
will now have better out-of-the-box sound support. There are tons of smaller changes and fixes in Linux 6.14, including better error recovery for IBM servers, support for new PCI devices, more efficient handling of temporary files, and better support for Snapdragon X CPUs. Right now, kernel 6.14 is in its release candidate phase, meaning it's still being tested. Typically, Linux goes through several weekly RC releases before the final version is available. If everything goes smoothly, we can expect Linux 6.14 to be officially released in late March 2025. If you're feeling adventurous and want to test it early, you can download the RC version from the official Linux kernel website or Linux Torvalds Git repository. Just keep in mind that since it's still in testing, it may not be 100% stable yet. If you're using a rolling release distro, like Arch Linux, Fedora Rawhide or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, you'll probably get Linux 6.14 shortly after release. If you're on a more stable distro like Ubuntu LTS or Debian, you may have to wait until your distribution includes it in their updates. For most users, Linux 6.14 brings better hardware support, improved power management and networking enhancements. If any of the new features sounds useful to you, upgrading will be worth it. All around, this update brings better AMD and Intel support, improved graphics handling, power management improvements, networking enhancements and better audio support. It also continues the push towards using Rust in the kernel, making Linux more secure and efficient for the future. But what do you think about Linux 6.14? Are you excited about any of these features? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.